Hey there, this is NY Hunter 77 coming at you with Jazz New Age um, Monero. That's my fault. Alright, New Age Monero. Here he comes now. Special Operation Saboteur. Uh, one of our favorite characters um, in this household and I'm sure in fandom. Um, this is New Age's take on Jazz. Very cool, I would say, just uh, at an initial glance. You have a G1 picture here. You have a G1 type picture here. You know he's a special operations person. You know he's a... Is he a saboteur? He could be a saboteur also. But anyway, very cool. And then here, it looks so G1, doesn't it? I know, I know. There's going to be people out there who say, Oh, this guy, G1 this, G1 that. But... I apologize, it's the standard I hold a lot of these characters at, and it just looks really good. Look at this picture here, them running away from the Ark for whatever reason, and uh, yeah, the other side. Alright, so yeah, very awesome looking box, very awesome looking robot from the pictures, and uh, let me see, he is right over here actually. Mm -hmm. I've taken him out already, I was too excited. So here he is with his sound blasters on his head. Is that copyrighted? I don't know. But uh, just very cool. As he comes around, you'll see the stripes as we're all aware of. Over here, he's missing some of the G1 stickers and appliques that uh, you'd expect from a G1 Jazz. But that's because this is an earlier model where a lot of the stickers were not there. I have a Prowl upstairs from New Age, and I think the code is EX, uh, but on those models, you have all the stickers on them to make them look like G1, fully G1, and it's so cool. I'll have to get him down here. Or actually, I think I reviewed him. He might, uh, if, if I find, uh, I'll know where the link is. I'll look for the link and I'll paste it down below. But this is the earlier Jazz without all the stickers. Um, just uh, of note, the one, that is G1-like with all the stickers. It also has gold wheels. Now I kind of wish I got that one, but um, this is the one I have, and Jazz is always cool, so um, I think he'll be fine. But I'm not not a big fan of these, if you take a look. Um, these are his sound cannons, of course. Um, they're usually at his sides on the cartoon, or out of the rear trunk in car mode, but here they've put posts on these and then holes in his shoulders where you can mount them and although it looks kind of cool um and you can think about it realistically it might be a good place for it but uh it's not it's not as accurate as it could be so i'm um, a little disappointed in that but looks cool looks cool all right let's uh get a closer look at vehicle mode all right so look at this guy he looks so cool. He looks just like a production Porsche, the way he should. Yep, as I mentioned before, he's missing a few decals and um, and stickers that'll make him look more G1. But this is a first iteration of him, and usually New Age when they do that, it's a little bit more basic and devoid of stickers, or some of them anyway. Uh, then they come out with a clear model, or they come out with a G1 sticker model first, and then a clear model. But in any case, they have a lot of ways that they do it uh, with colors, stickers, etc. And this is just a very early jazz. Um, and as you can see, it just looks so cool. And got the four right there. Let me get you in the picture. And then look at that. Oh yeah, this I also bought uh, slightly used from a gentleman. So um, he put an Autobot symbol on there for me, which is just fine. I find that a lot of these folks who sell from their collection um, either put a faction sticker on there themselves or, or do it for me before sending out, which is really nice. I, I really appreciate that. Uh, saves me buying a sticker set from Toy Hacks and doing it myself, so very good. Uh, now with this also, uh, just like Robot Mode, you can have the uh, speakers on him. Let me get those. 
and let's put them on. Let me see if I can do this on camera. Mm, they go right back here. It's a little bit difficult because ah, Jazz is so small. He's a, uh, you saw a Ratchet in another video I made and Jazz is even smaller. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this off camera and be back. Okay, we're back again and I was able to get those loudspeakers plugged into his trunk and uh, just this is just like the cartoon they come out the back the colors are a little bit weird of the um, them being bluish purplish but um, it still looks very cool um, yeah as mentioned before I'm not a big fan of having these speakers in robot mode anyway uh, because they're in the wrong place and the colors are a little weird but um, but in the car mode they look great and not only that, the car look, the car mode looks great too. So um, pretty neat, right? And look at those silver wheels also. And the four, the G1 model has, uh, or base model has the uh, Martini stickers, Martini Racing. And uh, man, that one looks even more fresh. So, uh, but in any case, I hope you enjoyed this. This is, um, yeah, one of my favorites. Um, I totally forgot about showing you the box and the contents inside. This being an early form or an early figure from New Age, I'm not sure if they meant to include any extras that you usually see. The pointing hand, the open hand, or what have you. But uh, I wanted to open this up and just show you what you might see if you got this model. And that is... Nothing! That's right, it's just the figure and just the blaster and instructions, of course. So, pretty nice, uh, in any case, nice packaging. But um, in this new age character, you don't get any extras. Well, okay, so anyway, uh, like I said, I almost forgot to show you the box and I wanted you to see it. All right, thanks guys. All right, here's hoping you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate that. Uh, more videos to come. And uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.